everyone welcome back to the channel knowledge star continuous knowledge excellence my name is anshika kaur in this video we will get to know about how do the two molecules come together now our expert professor bohedar who is associated with national center excellence in agro nanotechnology terry dike nanotechnology center india he has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research his area of expertise includes nano science and nanotechnology nano bio interface science soft matter science polymer physics biophysics we'll explain to you in detail about this topic so to get complete information watch full video without skip how do you make the two macromolecules or polymers or bipolars come together they are swimming far away from each other in the solvent principally same you create a dehydration process try to take out the hydration water from the surface of the biomolecules and the simplest way of doing this is add a non solvent which has got hydrogen bonding possibility with water so the water molecules will slowly recede from the surface of the biomolecule try to form hydrogen bonds with this non solvent which in this particular case can be acetone can be ethanol or any simple primary alcohol will do that job very effectively soft chemicals only you know hard chemicals now that will bring the macro molecules together or if it is one molecule the segments will come together once they are close to each other then they will start interacting through electrostatic forces they will bind each other to each other and form a charge neutralized complex because the positive and negative charges will overlap the overall charge on that will be very very low so that will form a complex hydrated and it will stay in the dispersion phase and in reality this will look something like this as shown in the cartoon here so we have biomolecules floating this drawing you have seen earlier but i am telling the same thing in a different language now you have biomolecules swimming here i have added a primary alcohol to it alcohol will now drain the biomolecules of their hydration layer because water will bind to alcohol with higher affinity so the molecules will get dehydrated they will start now looking like this which are much more compact than earlier stage it was extended now it is looking more compact because hydrogen layer has been lost add more alcohol to it then this will form a compact structure like a sphere which has a typical size of about 100 nanometer 150 nanometers and has turned into a nano material but many of these nanoparticles will cluster together and form large droplets microscopic droplets okay and those droplets will undergo coalescence and a coservate phase will now emerge from this dispersion which is dense as it will going to sit at the bottom of the reaction vessel and those particles collapsed particles of the polymer chain which have not participated in the aggregation process will continue to remain dispersed in the supernatant so the homogeneous liquid you started with it was a solution of biopolymers has now turned into a two phase liquid one is the supernatant at the top which is mostly this solvent with a small concentration of polymeric nanoparticles and a dense phase at the bottom where the water content is low polymer content is extremely extremely high and this concentration in the coservate phase can go to really very high level it can be something like 100 grams per 150 grams per liter which one cannot prepare at room temperature in, in a normal condition so these are very very special materials very dense phases of the polymer or biopolymer this and got a lot of applications biomedical applications so we'll not go into that but our target is capturing these nanomolecule nanoparticles which are sitting in the supernatant so this can 
and because these two have a clear density difference you can decant this take away the nanoparticle which are swimming in the supernatant a purification process through centrifugation and then you have a clear dispersion of biopolymer nanoparticle you want to turn it them into a powder and collect it and store it in a bottle then you do dialysis lyophilization then you have a powder or if you don't have that facility you can send it to very slow heating you know oven at 40 degree or so let it dry up over 48 hours or so don't keep the temperature high that will create disturbance in the structure because they are all biomolecules but if at 40 degrees celsius left over 48 hours it will dry into a powder but the best is to do a lyophilization experiment so this is what i've been telling now this is the dense phase which is the coarser weight here and this cloudy this thing you see the suspension mist here these are all nanoparticles suspended in the supernatant and this is what needs to be collected and through ultra centrifugation and then lyophilization to get the powder out of it and this i have described yesterday the same thing i am saying today we start with a situation where the biopolymer is dissolved in water that biopolymer is not soluble in ethanol but ethanol has miscibility properties with water so ethanol will mix with water very nicely through formation of hydrogen bonds at a particular concentration of ethanol about 45 percent 46 percent you will see the turbidity going to the maximum this is turbidity measured at a wavelength of something like 450 nanometer okay and this cartoon tells you how the phase separation is taking place most of the aggregates are staying here which is here and few nanoparticles are sus suspended in the supernatant which is corresponds to this driving the non-solvent concentration or the organic phase beyond this will ruin the entire experiment and your experiment is dead which means the trans the turbidity is now here so you have lost all the material to sedimentation that is a failed experiment therefore i repeat the control has to be very systematic you do a titration in a very systematic manner to drive the homogeneous one phase solution a to a two phase liquid liquid phase separation this is a liquid liquid phase separation here you want liquid one this is liquid two low concentration of biopolymers high concentration of biopolymers high density so you have two materials now ready with you now this strategy has been utilized very extensively for the preparation of nanoparticles if you want to see these type of videos then please do comment we will definitely reach out to you thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected